Ben, he's three years old. And uh, this is Baxter's and he's uh, six years old. Uh, so Baxter, uh, he's a working Cocker Spaniel and he's a nice small Spaniel used for uh, hunting and rough shooting or beating and he's uh, also a good pick enough dog. So I, I've had him since he was a pup uh, about 9 weeks, 10 weeks old and I uh, trained him myself. He's, uh, he's not too bad and uh, yeah, it's been really nice. He's been a good first, uh, first working dog and uh, yeah, he, he does the job well. So uh, the, the reason that we have dogs in shoot days is because they're obviously very important to use for a uh, one, the, the flushing of game, because um, when it comes to working a beating line, obviously we, we can't go where a dog goes, the dog will go into really thick cover, push by out and they also use their nose, which we as humans can't do. And then when you're picking a dead or wounded game, it's a lot easier to have a dog run over your field or your wood or wherever you are to go and pick that game and find it and use their nose than you to go and spend half an hour looking for it. And when you're picking wounded game, it's a lot more humane to have a dog go after it straight away. Because they'll, they'll find it straight away. A, a, a human can't do that. Yeah, we're allowed to bring our own dogs during the shoot days. It just helps the day go a bit easier and better. And uh, obviously, smaller legs get into smaller places we can't get into. Uh, the, the bond you have with your dog is really important. At least that way he knows he sort of trusts you when you're out in the field. He always knows, he's always going to look for you, to know where you are. So he doesn't disappear. 